that's where you wanted to kind of promote that movement. Right, of getting... sorry, sorry. You just got something in your eye. Oh, have I? You've got a bit of. Um... That might have been there all day. It hit me in the eye earlier. Oh, this, this is cute. Just thought I'd let him know. Thank because, you, you know, you don't want him to look like sexed it. on camera. That's true. <laughs> look great. Let's do it. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> yeah. Hi guys and welcome to another video. Okay, so today we're going to be working on improving our shooting power and speed. And for that, I'm going to use the help of these two. Yo, hello mate. What's up boys? How's it going? You good? Yeah, yeah, yeah good, good man. Good to see you. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks for having no us. Okay, so you're going to give us three exercises to help improve our shooting power. Is that right? Absolutely. What we're going to do is we understand you want to have a good gym program, but that's not accessible for everyone. So we're going to give you three exercises that you can use on the pitch to increase your shooting power. Cool, let's do it. Okay then John, so what's that first exercise? First exercise we're gonna work on is broad jumps. What we're trying to do is we're trying to get the back chain so your butts and your hamstrings really okay. working. Footballers tend to have very tight and strong kind of quads, mm. but because often we sit down a lot in common life, we start to get a little bit lazy in the butt. So all our exercises are really gonna work that extension through the hips, which generates a lot of power. I mean, okay. if you look at Dan when he does a slow-mo shot, you'll see the extension through his hip. So what we're trying to do with a broad jump is we're trying to get that kind of explosive movement to get the hips forwards into extension. Okay. So the whole body's working for this. What we're going to do is we're going to swing, coil ourselves down. Yep. From there, we're going to explode forwards, not upwards. Yep. We're going to get full extension, land on the heels, roll to the balls of the feet, and repeat. So okay. like this, full extension. I'll do it. Little demo. Little demo. Little demo. So I'll we're going from here, yep. down, up, each time. Okay. And repeat. Explode, extend out, that's it. Good, nice and forward, really go. Good. Look at that, four in the back. <laughs> How many of those should we be doing? To be honest, you might only get three or four with your balance to start with, but as yep. you start to stabilize the hips, mm. see if you can get 10 in a row, take yep. a short break and repeat. Okay. How many sets? Let's do three. Okay. Three sets of 10. Give it a go. Okay, exercise number two. We're going to use some unilateral work or single leg work. All we need is a bench Very and a nice. couple of decent looking legs. Whoa, there's someone made earlier. I've got a couple. Right, so one leg up, elevating it's going to work the posterior chain a little bit more. It's going to unstabilize the body, so we're going to have to work a little bit harder on our core. Back leg nice and strong from there. It's the running action. You're going to pop up and drive through. This is where all of your power comes from. Switching and lifting nice and high. Drive your knee up through the middle to act like you're going to kick a ball, obviously, without extending the leg. Boom. Nice. And then switch to the other way. Okay, let's have a go. A bit of bash. Drive up, good, and bring that knee through. Good, core nice and tight. Nice. Look at And good. switch legs. You've done this before, Daniel. I think I have. I think you have. <laughs> Sign him up. <laughs> good, one more. And relax it off. Nice. Simple as that. Some unilateral work, awesome for power production, great for the core. 12 to 15 reps on each side, have a minute's break, repeat it two to three times. Bush. Perfect. Okay, so you've got one more exercise for us? Yeah, so we've started to break it down now. Our first exercise looked into promoting that movement of getting the hips forward. Our second one was single leg work, really getting that balance and stabilization. Yep. Our last exercise is going to be a little bit of both. Really going to get the legs working to use that extension when you're kicking the ball. Sure. So we're going to start with our knee on the floor like this. Okay. Our first bit is what we did in the first exercise, getting the hips forward. From here, we're going to explode up onto our feet and then we're going to get the legs working and jump straight up. Okay. We've got the quad and the butt really working on this one. So the Two. first one we're going forward, this time we're just exactly. going Exactly. Okay. So we're going to come from here, it's here, 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 nice and high. Nice. Nice. So what's great about these exercises is they're athletic and they, they're kind of functional. You're not just using one muscle at a time, sure. you're trying to strengthen everything as it would be together. In a football match, you're, just, you're not just doing this, you're yeah, moving yeah. around someone, you're balancing. Yeah, so great. it's all kind of dynamic and that's going to help increase your shot power. Awesome. Okay, so we've shown you three different exercises for improving your shot power. Now we're going to have a bit of fun. We're bringing in the Adidas Smart Ball. This is basically going to tell us how fast we can kick the ball. So it's going to be a challenge between me and the Lean Machines. What we're going to do is, whoever gets the two fastest scores goes through to the final. Well, let's see who it's going to be. Okay, Leon, you're up first. Alright. How are you feeling? Oh, excited. Let's do this. <laughs> Go. Good strike. 68 miles an hour. Great strike. Stand up. Oh, Alright. 66. 66, okay. <laughs> Did you get the run up on there? <laughs> <laughs> He's limping. 
Yeah, that didn't that didn't register. <laughs> <laughs> We're not measuring accuracy to be fair, so that could still be a powerful <laughs> shot. All right, that's the main thing. That was top corner. What are you talking about? Fifty-eight mile an hour. Ooh. Oh, it's me and Daniel in the final. Right, so yeah, John's out. Leon and myself in the final. Nice strike, nice strike, nice strike. It's not great. It's not, I knew it. 63 mile an hour. Oh, Dan's for the taking. Beatable, isn't it? Got in his head. Yeah. He's lost it. Pressure's on, he just couldn't do it. Sixty-eight. You matched me. Sixty-eight, I'm happy with that. Sixty-eight strong. So what does that mean? It means I won. It means you won, basically, because it's your channel. It's a draw, it's my <laughs> channel, so I win. No, you got 68. Yeah. And then we went to the final. And you got, I got 63. And I got 68. 68. Which makes you win. Wiener. <laughs> <laughs> okay then, thanks for watching the video guys. We hope you enjoyed it. Obviously, a certain amount of your shooting power and speed is going to come down to your technique. It's my excuse. Yeah, that's definitely <laughs> his excuse yesterday. Thanks to my local pitch as well yeah. for letting us use the space. It's Lovely awesome. 3G pitch, isn't it? Yeah, isn't yeah. it? So make sure you check them out. The link will be in the description. Also, make sure you go and sub to these guys. Got an awesome channel. Tell them a little bit about it. Yeah, we also, there's obviously loads of health and fitness stuff, nutrition, that kind of stuff, but also, which we've done with you. Yeah, yeah, There's sure. a John versus Leon. Oh, so yeah. we got some challenges from Daniel to give us and um, I'm not gonna give any 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 spoilers <laughs> away, but it went, it went pretty well for one of us. It did, yeah. So go and check it out. So hopefully you already subscribed to me. Thanks very much and we'll see you next time. See you later, guys.